This is the first Stuart Davis that came into the collection, much to the horror of my father's secretary, Mrs. Deacons. And I don't know how it got where it was and where I saw it first, but it was hanging in John Domenil's office in New York, which was the headquarters for Schlumberger, Schlumberger, if you will. It was the last painting that Stuart Davis did before he died. It just knocked your teeth out, as far as I'm concerned. I just thought it was so wonderful. And of course, a total uh, step in another direction for this collection. So Mrs. Deacon says to me, your father is turning over in his grave if you buy this. Well, it wasn't terribly expensive, fortunately. And John de Manil was one of the most gracious Gallic gentlemen. So Jean went up to Katrine and he said, now patted her on the hand, and he said, now Katrine, if Mrs. Carter's daughter wanted something this bad, don't you think he'd let her have it? So we got it. It's called blips and ifs. Now, <laughs> a blip and an if, what, a blip is something that comes up. I don't know how you define it. But it's magnificently painted. The, the paint surface is a little heavier than in the other uh, Davises we have. But it is such a, well, it just makes you want to jump up and down and dance, I think. <laughs>